Well, well, well. Hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl, the Zen Libran. I'm going to say that again, the Zen Libran. There's people here on YouTube called the Zen Libra and the Zen Zone. I'm the Zen Libran. You have to put a, a, a N on the end of that Libra, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I am shadow banned and, um, you will only get me if you put an N on the end of that Libra. Okay, so it's Zen Libran. Well, welcome to my channel, guys, Zen Libran Tarot. What's going on out there, everybody? Peace to everybody. How you living? How you living? How you live? I hope everybody's doing good. I ain't talked to y'all in a couple of days. Y'all doing good out there? I am. So if not, I want to share my comfort with you. I want to share my comfort with you. Well, if this is the first time you're joining my channel, because a lot of people are just seeing me for the first time when I've been here on YouTube about three, four years now. Um, <clears throat> on my channel, I focus on women empowerment. I focus on elevating the woman back to her goddess status, back to her empress status, so that she can retake her throne, which is the earth. The earth was meant to be ran by the matriarch. It's meant to be ruled with love. And that's what the word king actually means. It means to rule with love. So you know that is our title. It's a feminine word. This is our throne because the patriarch rules with what? Death and destruction. So Mother Earth is crying out to her alpha females to come and retake this throne and bring and lift the vibration of this earth and bring it out of the darkness that it has been in since the patriarch has took control. Okay? All right, y'all. So we have to heal ourselves. We have to heal ourselves to take back over our rulership. All right, ladies? And how do we do that? Loving ourselves. When you love yourself, ladies, everything falls into play. I'm telling you, trust and believe. All right. Well, I'm here today to do a general collective reading for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius for the month of September. September done came and is leaving, ain't it, y'all? Yeah, this is my time of year to fall, but September has come and gone. Today is what, the 20th? Yeah. <clears throat> now, what's going on with my Sagittarius? Well, Something has come to a conclusion or to an end with this Sagittarius, okay? Um, but this Sagittarius, there has been a connection, okay, that has come to an end is what I just heard. That is over, a conclusion, not happening. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to happen. Never, never again. Um, but this Sagittarius feels that if they were in a union with the collective, they would have power, Okay? But this is a person that's non-committal, okay? But they want to hook up with the collective, which is you, okay? Because they feel they could have power. They could generate power by hooking up with you, all right? All right, that's what's going on with my Sagittarius. And, of course, like I say, this is the Goddess Channel. I speak from the woman's aspect, and I pull from the feminine energy. And the feminine energy that I pulled to help me deliver this message to my Sagittarius is Yasiji. You see, G is here giving us the energy of live out loud. Yeah. Somebody's going to come and tell you this particular person that you ended a connection with, that nothing's going to happen again. <laughs> Somebody um, is going to come tell you how they feel about you. Okay. And the reason that they're coming to tell you how they feel about you is because they're passionate about you. They, they want to sleep with you. That's all it is. They want to sleep. They want you sleeping at the Y. You hear what I'm saying? This person wants to sleep with you, and he's coming to tell you. This is a person that never told you how he felt because he plays a lot of games. But now, since he see he can't get you, he's at his last straw. So what he's going to use is emotion <laughs> because he wants to sleep with you. Okay? This is a chameleon. This is a shapeshifter. He's done, done all that he can do, but now he's going to use that emotion. Be careful. All right? This is my girl, Yasiji, giving us the energy of live out loud. Yeah. You're protected from this person, though. Okay? You're protected. You are someone out here living in your truth, not, not uh, bothering nobody. You out here living in your truth, not bothering nobody. You know? You have, uh, you have stepped into your, you've activated your higher self. Your higher self has been activated. Yeah, because you're over there taking care of yourself. You're loving yourself. You, you're all into your self-care, ladies. That's what I tell you. This activates your higher self, loving yourself. Love is the best energy you can be in. It's the most primordial force. This is where we come from. 
love. Okay? All right? And you've been over there loving on yourself. You know what I'm saying? When you love yourself, you're nurturing the God that's within. And the God that's within is the divine. That's the God within you. Okay? And you over there loving yourself and activated your higher self by loving yourself. And you're keeping your distance from this particular person because you love yourself. You dealing with this person, knowing that he's non committal, that's not loving yourself. So you kept your distance. You retreated from this person actually because you love yourself. This is beautiful, ladies, because you're living in your truth. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look at him, y'all. Look at him thirsty. The fire guardian. guardian. He want to ignite your passion. Yeah, he's just trying to get some. That's all he's trying to do. Get some with his Ricardo Montalban looking ass. You know what I'm saying? He's just trying to get some. You know what I'm saying? This person is triggered and he's mad. He wants to, wants to give you all type of smoke because you're free from him. You freed yourself from this person, and you have plenty of other opportunities, plenty of other choices. You don't want his musty-looking ass, okay? But he's trying to ignite your passion. You know what I'm saying? Psh, get on out of here. Yeah. Yeah, this is somebody that you were in a karmic cycle with. This is somebody that you were in a karmic cycle with, you know? And um, it's over. You know what I'm saying? The divine had to step in because this person was doing all type of stuff behind the scene to get you to sleep with him. So the divine had to intervene and the divine put you on a detour not to deal with this particular person. Okay. Your cycle with this person is over. It was a karmic cycle. You learned your lessons and it's over. You know, um, you're not being with this person. You being protected. This is the divine intervention. This is the divine coming in. The divine told this connection down because the divine doesn't want you to be with this person. And when the divine closed the door, it has been concluded. Best believe. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is somebody that uh, probably want to come to you and act like he's your twin flame. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've gone through some type of initiation, honey. This person put you through, through a lot of conflict and torture all because you didn't want to sleep with him. But because you didn't sleep with him and you listened to the voice of the divine, you, this, is, this person put you through some type of initiation. And now you have a rite of passage. Okay? You're crossing the threshold. Okay? Um, you've been awakened that this person was trying to put illusions to you. You know what I'm saying? Trying to put up illusions that he's your twin flame. What I tell you? What I, what, I, what I tell you, you know what I'm saying? This person is an illusionist, and he is not your twin flame. This is somebody that you was in the karmic cycle with, okay? And you learned your lessons. You've outgrown this person, and he's trying to pull you back. But because you didn't go back to your past, you threw the threshold. You have been initiated. Gone, girl. Gone, girl. Gone, girl. Gone, girl. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, taking care of yourself, ladies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, here we go, the Finch card. You're having this new beginning because you take care of yourself. And now you really want to take care of yourself at this time. This is the time now that you really want to take care of yourself and protect your energy because you got a lot of people coming at you that want to get with you because of the new beginning that you're having, okay? A lot of men with dark energy, you know what I'm saying? Um, they want to create a soul tie with you. Okay, and this person from your past wants a reunion with you because they see this new beginning that you're having and they want to come and get in on it. These clout chasers, you hear what I'm saying? Psh, gold diggers, men do it too, ladies. Men do it too. They, they worse than us, you know what I'm saying? We got transformation here, okay? We got transformation here, yeah. Um, something that you're doing, your career, you could be a seer because you see the third eye, the third eye there in this picture. Uh, you could be a seer. Whatever you're doing is in communication. You could be on social media. You have a platform or something. But uh, things is going to transform in your platform. Your platform probably wasn't doing any, was stagnant. But now things are going to turn around. Things are going to turn around. And you're going to be very abundant. Okay? And you're going to have a reason to celebrate. Okay, because this is going to transform for you overnight, honey. You're not going to even believe it. This is stability for you. I love this. I love this. You know what I'm saying? All because you what? Taking care of yourself. 
okay? All because you're taking care of yourself. You going through financial problems has come to an end. All of this is coming to an end. You trying to, uh, you fighting against this person that's doing behind the scenes, trying to put you under the illusion that he's your twin flame when he's not. He's a demon that, that wants your sacral energy. He's an energy vampire. He don't care nothing about you. He just wants your sacral energy because he's a thirsty ass, stank ass demon. That's why. You know what I'm saying? Um, an end has come to uh, you needing assistance, okay? You've probably been needing financial assistance or something. You've probably been going through it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, this is the end of this. It's the end of you needing assistance. All your wishes are getting ready to be fulfilled, okay? You probably, you've been going through a stalemate. Your finances has been in a stalemate, but now, honey, you're getting the Ace of Pentacles. You're getting the Ace of Pentacles. That's why all these men chasing you. That's why all these men chasing you, okay? It's the end of this stalemate in your money, honey. You getting the ace of pentacles. You ain't gonna need no assistance for nobody. You got your own. I love a girl who got some. You know what I'm saying? That's what we that's what we talking about over here. That's what we talking about. <coughs> You're gonna have fulfillment. Your cup is gonna be full. Your cup runs over, baby. And this is the divine's doing. A job well done. You know what I'm saying? You walk through the threshold. You have been initiated. You survived this test uh, that you was going through with this masculine who only wants to come back to you because he wants your sacred energy. He's an energy vampire. And you fought this person off. You tapped your distance from this person, and now you're being rewarded. Whatever you're working on in communication, it probably was in a stalemate, but it's taking off. It's going to bring you in the Ace of Pentacles, and you're going to have fulfillment. Your cup is going to be running over. You're going to have a lot of growth, a lot of growth. And you're going to be in your comfort zone. You're going to be in your comfort zone. And these men that are in a soft node, they want to cling to you because they want your energy. Because they know if they got your sacred energy that they will empower themselves. They're trying to use you like a battery, baby. But ain't no batteries here. You hear what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's get this terror out of y'all. I mean, he hunting you down, girl. He hunting you down. It's like this sacred lust. This person has like a sacred lust. He's lusting after your sacral. Half off your sacral energy because you're having prosperity in your life. You getting paid. You know what I'm saying? You have this inner wellspring that everything that you create because your sacral controls your emotions and your creativity. Everything that you create, everything that you touch turns to gold. And you're going to have um, material and um, spiritual prosperity. So this person is hunting you down. It's hunting you down. This person who is an energy vampire, he could have been trying to sacrifice you to some group. Okay, to some, this is somebody that's in some type of church coven or something like that he could have been trying to sacrifice you but he couldn't um this is the end of this cycle of this person trying to sacrifice you i mean this person uh has been defeated this person has been defeated um you probably uh been hitting rock bottom or something it's over it's over you know what i'm saying uh of this person trying to betray you bad mouthing you you know what i'm saying you probably been over there sick going through chronic pain you know what I'm saying? I mean, this person here just refused to accept that whatever y'all had was over. So he was doing all type of stuff to you behind the scene to create a stalemate in your platform, to create uh, your finances to be in a stalemate. He did all this just so you would sleep with him. Mm -hmm. Just so you could sleep with him. Yeah. <laughs> your whole time's over, sweetheart. Your hard times are over. You know, this person wasn't able to sacrifice you because you intuitive. And you walked away from this person. Okay? You walked away from this person and this person is upset. You know? This person tried to get to your heart. Talking about we soulmates. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. We supposed to be in a commitment. This is not your soulmate, honey. This is not your soulmate. This is somebody... And wants to be with you uh, because he's in debt. That's all this is. This is not your soulmate. And you walked away from this person because the divine told you to. The divine won't tell you to walk away from your soulmate. 
This is an energy vampire. This is a demon, okay? That's trying to get ahead off your energy, all right? Look at him. This him. This is him doing spell work. We got a warlock, y'all. Doing spell work behind the scenes, affecting your finances. Mm-hmm. Doing little spells, trying to get your sacred energy. This is an energy vampire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Attacking you over and over and over again with spell work. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. What we got out here, y'all? What we got out here? You're free from this person trying to sacrifice you. You blocked everything that this person did. You are a spirit warrior, okay? This person just wants to hump on you. This is what he wants to do, hump on you over and over again and steal your energy. This is what he wants. He wants your cup, okay? This is all he wants. This person don't want to offer you nothing. He don't have much to offer you. He's immature. He don't have anything to offer you. You know what I'm saying? And this person is paranoid. Um, that's why that you're not going to be with him. That's why he's doing his spell work. You don't want him. <laughs> it's the end of this cycle. It's the end of this cycle. This person wants to come and, I don't know, I'll give you some of the offering so he can hump on you and sacrifice you. I mean, it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, this was something that you was blind to, but now you see. Now you see what this person was doing and you ended it. You ended it, and this person is in fear. He's paranoid and everything because he knows that you are the leprechaun. You are the leprechaun. <laughs> yeah, honey, let's get these cards out here, y'all. Let's get some more cards out before I close them up. This is a player player. You know. And uh, you don't want him because he's a player player. And so he's doing spell work. <laughs> yeah, honey. He's probably trying to sacrifice you so he can get initiated into something. Because I see he's with some type of group that knew that he was trying to sacrifice you. Psh. Hmm. Yeah, it's like that. They don't know our life, man. They do not know our life, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. We go through it, Divine Family, just because of who we are. You know what I'm saying? Because you ended it with him. Look at him with his meathead ass. He mad. He mad. But so what? So what? Don't nobody care. He mad. Mm-hmm. Because he wanted you to be uh, an ATM machine for him. That's what he wanted. He wants your money. <laughs> he knows what's coming your way. Hmm. Yeah. And that's why he's doing his spell work. Because he's afraid that he's not going to be your number one contender. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This person could be watching you on camera. He could be watching you on camera, watching you on video. I told you, um, mm, you're doing something in communication, you know. Um, yeah, you could be... Um, uh, he's some type of healer, a nurturer or something, and he's watching you on camera to do this. Something you're doing on social media. Mm-hmm. And he mad and jealous because he sees you on TV or something, and he's trying to be your man. Boy, get your flute head ass out of here, girl. Psh. Yeah, this person don't even match you, honey. This is a page. And you, you sitting up here, the queen of cups, queen of pentacles, queen of... Uh, swords, you sit up here an empress and he ain't nothing but a page. Boy, please. You, you're not even on her level. You know what I'm saying? You that bitch. You that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. You that bitch. <laughs> and he is not on your level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He mad as hell that he couldn't get into your head. He couldn't play mind games on you like he do everybody else. So he probably out there calling you all type bitches and stuff. But who cares what a low life got to say about you? Uh huh. His opinion don't matter. <laughs> He's a low life. He's a scum. He's a virus to the earth. Who gives a damn what a munchie chi got to say about them? You know what I'm saying? 
And all he want to do is hump on somebody. Boy, please. Mm-hmm. Because you're the executive producer. That's why he trying to hump all up on you. Yeah. But get up off my back. Straight up heart attack. Ain't nobody humping around. Ain't nobody letting you touch them. Get on out of here. Trying to be uh, the, be the final two. Let y'all be. Let him be the one that, you know, to be for you. Man, get out of here, man. I don't know. I'm so tired of this energy. Whomever this is. All the readers are reading this. Baby, she don't want you. Move on. Don't care how many spell work you do. You and your raggedy ass group. You know what I'm saying? You masons. Leave her alone. She don't want y'all. No matter who y'all sent to her house or whatever y'all do, she's not going to get what you do. Damn. Move on. Ain't no other women out there for you. Yeah. It is the end. It is the end. She is free. You can't sacrifice her. Get the hell on. Be deep, be deep, be deep. That's all, folks. Go on, dude. Go on. Damn, go on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, she's celebrating like, cheers. She don't want you, dude. She don't want you. She probably got somebody else. She done sent you home and she up here with somebody else. Go on, dog. Go on, dog. He want to be that one, and he doing spell work to get it. He's a weak ass punk, and ain't nobody gonna, ain't nobody ever gonna want him. And continue to take care of yourself, divine feminine. You know what I'm saying? Continue to take care of yourself and keep them legs closed. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying? I know y'all feel me. All right, all right. Well, this is the message that I have for my Sagittarius. If you feel anybody could benefit from this message, please share the consciousness, share the awareness. And I've been shadow banned forever. So, guys, if you please share the video because that may be the only way that the person that needs to get this message can get this message. OK. And again, that's Zen Libran with an N. Zen Libran Tarot. Because there's plenty of other names I heard like mine, but they ain't me. There can only be one me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm melanated. These are white women. They not me, y'all. All right? All right. I love y'all. And I will see you guys on the next um, video. Y'all be easy out there, okay? Bye-bye.